Good morning. Our simple topic. My situation is redeemable. Say my situation is redeemable. Listen to this. Before you start your prayer, before you claim anything, you need to know the type of God you are requesting to touch you and your situation. If you talk about God the Father, you should know his character, what he does, according to what he did. I'm reading 2 7 of Genesis. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. You and me were dust. Once upon a time, God the Father, with His love, mercy, and His own purpose, with His own plan, not your plan, He touched the dust of the earth breathed into that your dust his precious breath of life and made it what you are a living being. If you are now Focusing on somebody who turned it what you are. If you are focusing on him who can turn the dust into living water. Focusing on him who can turn the dust into that what you are. You will be blessed. With his own plan and love. It means your miracle will be so strange. If it is a business, it will be a walking, working, breathing business. If it is a marriage, can you imagine? If it is a factory, if it is your career, hey, what a type of God we have. Can you imagine that same God? 2.8 of First Samuel. This is his character. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the beggar from the ash heap to set them among the princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. What is your situation today? Is it a dust-like situation? Why should you bother too much and wonder? Why do you worry what will be the outcome of your prayer? Why shouldn't you suggest the outcome of your prayer? God is faithful. He is a loving God. He did all this for you to give him glory. For you to realize that victory 
through Christ Jesus is a real victory. And to God who sent him God deserves glory. Listen to what he said. 14 13 of John. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. He never said anything you ask for, he will do it. No, sir. And whatever can yeah. he bring glory to God the Father, he will make sure he has done it. Are you here looking for the answers, for the reasons which will glorify God the Father, your Creator? Your Creator? To appreciate him who made you from dust and took his precious breath of life, breathed into your dust and made it what you are. You can walk, you can walk, you can laugh, you can dance. Oh. Change your mind. Any prayer today. Anything you are asking for should be for the glory of God. He asked, where are the nine? After cleansing them of the, their reproaches, only one came back. Will you be like the other one who came back to thank God? Or you will be one of the nine? After your miracle, will you be one of the nine? Or one of the ten? To go be the growth. I'm reading Luke 17, verse 11. Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers, who stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourselves to the priests. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks as he was a Samaritan. So Jesus answered and said, were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? When there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Clap for Jesus. What is your prayer request today? As you do not know the plan of your being here on the earth before you were created, the same you don't know the plan of your departure. Why don't you trust him and love him? Who has your plan before and the plan after? What do you think? To him be the glory or to you? To you who doesn't have even a plan before and after. <laughs> Change your 
to the big mistake. If everything you have come for is for the glory of God, and the result will be for the glory of God, I confirm to you, the results are already in your hands.